everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my October library haul. So in the month of October, I tried to carry over what I did in September, which was go to my library and not buy any books into the month of October. And for the most part, that was the case. I picked out some really great books this month and checked them out for my library. And not all of them I have with me, but they will be featured in my wrap up, which will be out in a couple of days. So I'm really excited to talk about all the books I have picked out right now, so let's jump right in and get started. So the first two books I have to talk about today are both audiobooks, and those are City of Heavenly Fire as well as Lady Midnight, both by Cassandra Clare. This is book six in the Immortal Instrument series, and this is book one in the Dark Artifices trilogy. If you guys are newer to my channel, for the make long story short, for the past few months I have been slowly making my way through the Shadowhunter Chronicles books. I have read up to book five in the Immortal Instruments right now, and I've had a love-hate relationship with this world. I've loved some of the books, I've hated some of the others. That's a whole nother story. I'll do a whole video on my thoughts on this world in the future, but I really do want to give this world a chance. So I am hoping book six in the Immortal Instruments, which has just been my least favorite uh, series by far, uh, will blow me away because it's supposed to. And then Lady Midnight, which is book one of the Dark Artifice trilogy, is supposed to be the beginning of the best series in this world thus far from what I've heard. So hopefully these will blow me away when I read them. I have my hopes up. The next book in this haul is the only book I actually have already read and that book is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. This is one of the book club picks for my friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles Book Club. I will link her channel as well as the Goodreads group down below if you guys would like to join us. But this is a mystery novel that follows four best friends who in their middle school high school age they were really really close and they were known for playing this game called the lion game which is pretty much they went around and told lies and to like fellow students professors and tried not to get caught but this takes place 15 years later and something has happened that brings them all back together and it turns out that their little game that you, they used to play wasn't the safest idea in the first place. I, like I said, have already read this book and I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but I was not the huge, biggest fan of this book, but again, I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. Just wasn't for me, but I do want to read more by this author, so yes. The next book I picked out is one that my friend Lisa, again over at Books and Smiles, like I said, I'll have her channel linked down below, has raved about for the past few months and that's the book is called Prince of Thorns and this is by Mark Lawrence. This is book one in the Broken Empire trilogy I believe. This is an adult dark fantasy series and that's pretty much all I know but I know she loves this first couple of books. I know she just recently DNF'd the third one but again she has raved about this one. She says it's very dark, very gory but something to be read so I am really excited to check it out. The next one I picked up is The Hammer of Thor, which is book two in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy by Rick Riordan. I read the first book in this series this month, and I'll, again, I'll talk about that more in my wrap-up. Absolutely loved it. This is, again, book two, and this follows Magnus Chase, who is living on the streets of Boston. He is homeless at the beginning of the first book, and one day he finds out that he is the son of Frey, which is the summer god in Norse mythology. And it takes off from there. It, the first book was really, really great. I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to see where the series goes from there. I know the third book just came out a couple of weeks ago, so I'm definitely excited to see where the series goes. The last book I have for this haul is another book I've seen all over booktube, and that is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This is another, I believe it's a YA dark fantasy book, and that's pretty much all I know. I think it follows a female assassin which sounds really, really cool. I also really love this cover. Can we just talk about that for a second? Like I said, that's pretty much all I know. Dark fantasy, female assassin main character sounds perfect to me. So definitely going to check this out sometime in the next month. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have Lisa's channel as well as the Goodreads group link down below if you guys would like to check those out. As well as all my social media links, my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog are all linked down below as always. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!